I've got to be honest, uh, that doesn't happen every week, so, uh, you know, but uh, you can forget that new roof run now. I'm going to get one of these instead. I just, uh, so, uh, so uh, but this is a bit like church, you know, what people think it's church. I'm in a massive pulpit, miles away from anyone else, with just four people sitting there judging everything I'm going to say. Uh, you're awake, so that's a bonus. Uh, so, yeah. Since being on the show, uh, people have asked me what it's like getting recognised. I've got no idea. Every time I've been out, I've had a mask on, you know? <laughs> My wife, I think she took self-isolation really seriously, though. Uh, she left me. <laughs> <laughs> she's back, she's back, it's okay. I had something that no one else had. Uh, a full pack of super soft Andrex toilet paper, so... <laughs> I have put a bit of weight on in lockdown, so I've been on a diet. I thought I was doing all right when I lost four and a half pounds in my first week. Yeah, yeah. Then I realised Jesus shifted the stone in three days, so... <laughs> <laughs> I'm always getting asked about my kids, whether what they think about their dad being a minister. They're fine, to be honest, uh, except for the fact that I gave them biblical names. Our oh, Mary's all right, but John the Baptist, she's fuming. Uh, <laughs> the toughest thing I do has to be funerals. Uh, and unfortunately, I'm not very good at them. So, uh, but I, I know a lot of people have been affected by bereavement. I have myself. Just before Christmas, my only uncle passed away. Uh, God rest his soul. And, uh, well... <laughs> I had him in the secret Santa, so, you know, <laughs> every cloud uh, <laughs> saved me 20 quid, that did. <laughs> yeah. uh, my first funeral uh, was in a crematorium, right, and it was a disaster. I was nervous, I'm dyslexic, uh, so I'd made notes, and I was checking them as the coffin was coming down the aisle to glory again as I will survive. <laughs> On reflection, I probably shouldn't have danced, but, uh, you know, it was a terrible choice for a funeral song, that isn't it, eh? So, uh, so yeah, so I, was ch I checked my notes, and I was stood there, and I was like, I'd suddenly realised that I'd forgot to put the deceased's name down in my notes. <laughs> I know. Uh, right. I think it's Hilda, but I can't be sure. Next minute, it feels like it's a game of who wants to be a millionaire I'm on. I'd have loved to have gone 50-50 or phone a friend. I can't really ask the audience, can I? That option's gone. <laughs> I was just glad it wasn't deal or no deal. I wasn't going to open that box for no offer. <sighs> you know, I'm, 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 I'm starting to panic at this point, but I'm trying to remain professional, yeah? And I'm looking for clues. And I spot the flowers on the lid of the coffin. And in big, bold, capital letters, the name Anna. And I think to myself, thank you, God. Thank you, God. You do exist. Thank you, God. <sighs> My dyslexia had kicked in, hadn't it? It was Nana. So. <laughs> at that point, they put a black and white photograph up of the deceased. And I was looking at this photograph, and I was thinking to myself, you were pretty fit in your day. Uh, sorry, sorry. I was thinking to myself, what's your name? It's like the worst game of Guess Who ever, right? Uh, and I'm playing for my life at this point. But then, in a moment of divine inspiration, the name Jean dropped into my head. And I said confidently, it's Jean, final answer. <laughs> the relief I had at that moment, right? It was like, Jean, Jean, sweet Jean. I'm gonna miss you, Jean. Rest in peace, Jean. It wasn't Jean. Uh, it was Hilda all along, wasn't it? Should have stuck my first answer. Uh, you're taking it slightly better than they did, to be honest. Uh, I just need to get to the words of committal. You know, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. And just as I'm about to send Hilda on her final journey, my phone went off in my pocket, and I can hear Rihanna, 
and these unfortunate words. Just gonna stand there and watch me burn But that's alright because I like the way it hurts Could have been worse, it could have been Oh na na, what's my name, what's my name? <laughs> I'm the Reverend Alan Finnegan. Uh, good night and God bless.